Well, tonight, help wanted at police departments across Massachusetts. Police chiefs say applicants are becoming hard to find. Here's WBZ's Bill Shields. They are two police chiefs whose jobs now feel like quicksand. We certainly want to hire good quality candidates, but what is going on nationally is affecting us here in the Commonwealth. In the last several years, a series of questionable police shootings have led to sometimes violent protests and perhaps an eroding of public trust in police, even in Massachusetts. The criticism that's going on nationally, and quite frankly, the criticism that's coming at us from the State House at times from people that don't know how they do their job, uh, that they don't know how they interact, and that they make a judgment based upon what they think as opposed to what they know is, is can, can, can at times not be helpful. With police protests now occupying the public consciousness, these police chiefs are having a hard time filling vacant jobs. When you're being judged and criticized of being a police officer based upon what happens thousands and thousands of miles away across the country, it's becoming increasingly difficult to attract new recruits. And they say the state's civil service requirements don't help. This candidate isn't as good as this candidate, and then civil service steps in and says, well, we're going we're gonna to tell you to hire that person anyway. With the public demanding change in police departments, these chiefs have a suggestion. If you want change in policing, please come join us. Change the profession from within. The police chiefs we spoke with today said that the public around here wants to see two major changes in policing. One, a reduction in the level of force, but also increased service. In Mansfield, I'm Bill Shields, WBZ News.